call it grandma chic. Yeah, there's like a nod to like the 70s. I've been wanting to buy these chairs for so long. I sold my other chairs on Facebook Marketplace and I got these and I love them. How beautiful. I love the whole like rattan look. So happy with my purchase. And it goes so nicely with like my rattan chandelier. Right now I have to decide whether or not I'm gonna stay in this apartment. So I've been like shopping around to see if maybe I wanna go somewhere else, but I do love my apartment. Anyways, I need to get going because it's getting late and I need to go to work. <laughs> wonderful morning. I am going to go to this class and I'm so excited. Oh, and by the way, my hair is so dirty. It's like embarrassing going out like this, but whatever. I really want to make it to the library because I really want to pick up some books on law of attraction and manifestation because these are things that I'm really interested in. I did the Gabby Bernstein 21 day manifestation challenge at the beginning of the year and it helped me tremendously. And I've had some more goals that have come up recently and things that I really want to hone in. And I just want to like educate myself a little bit more. Oh, 
Everybody. Today I went to the library and I picked up seven books. Four of the books that I got are fictional books. The first one that I picked up is called Little Secrets. I just finished another book by this author called Things We Do in the Dark and I literally read it in two days. I could not put that book down. So when I saw this book, I immediately picked it up. I have high hopes for it. I will let you guys know if it's any good. The second book I picked up is called The Club and it's endorsed by the Reese Witherspoon Book Club. A lot of the books that Reese Witherspoon endorses usually turn into series or movies. So I'd love to read the book before that actually happened and I'll let you guys know if I agree with her seal of approval. Next book I picked up was by an author that I've never read before. It's called The Bird Catcher. What got me to pick up this book is the little synopsis. Set primarily on the island of Ibiza, the story is narrated by writer Amanda Woodlaw, whose closest friend, a gifted sculptor named Catherine Sugar, is repeatedly institutionalized for trying to kill her husband, Ernest, who nevertheless refuses to leave her. Okay, the fourth book that I picked up is called The Spectacular. And what I liked about this is that it says, in this startling provocative novel from the acclaimed author of The Best Kind of People, three generations of women blur the line between unconventional and dysfunctional as they explore sexuality, gender, and maternal ambivalence. Sounds interesting. So yeah, so this is the fourth fictional book that I picked up. The three other books that I picked up are books on manifestation and law of attraction. What I learned from the manifestation challenge is that oftentimes we are the ones who are holding ourselves back. So these are the three books that I picked up. The first book is Ask and It Is Given. This is probably like one of the number one books when it comes to manifestation. The next book that I picked up is called The Desired Map. Knowing how you want to feel is the most potent clarity you could have. Generating those feelings is the most powerful thing that you can do with your life. And the last book that I picked up is called The Slight Edge, turning simple disciplines into massive success and happiness. And I like that what it says over here, The Slight Edge is not just another self-help tool for traveling the path to success. It is the doorway to creating powerful results in any area of your life. 
by using tools you already hold within you. Let me know if you guys have any book recommendations whatsoever, whether it's fictional books or self-help books related to manifestation and law of attraction. I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know. I'm so interested to hear from you.